I just think about her. I think about when I was a kid. This gap, there's something I can't remember. You're trying to connect with a time in your life that was so painful. You've buried it deep within yourself. A memory can be as elusive as a fish. You see the outline of it beneath the surface of the water. Yet when you try to grab it or hold on to it, it slips away. How long have you felt this way? Since your mother? Maybe. I think back, I, I remember it was bad. But this woman, I knew her. She was so strong. I just felt so much. No one understands me. I've been chasing that since. In times of great emotional stress, we tend to confuse or repress events in our lives that our mind can't integrate. What do you remember about that experience? I don't know what happened to me. I just remember her. You were missing for weeks. Anybody who's experienced trauma like that at such a young age is bound to struggle. Perhaps you fear that you became too close to the people that tried to hurt you? It wasn't like that. She was kidnapped too, and she saved me. That I've always wanted to do. I mean, that's what I've been born to do, and I'm finally doing it now. It was amazing. When you come in quick in the scene like that, it just moves everything along. It, it was amazing. The audience loved it. I loved it. Let's just keep that every time, every, every night. From now on, the stunt and come in early. And you, you, come in. Dennis? Yeah, that's me. Can I talk to you for a second? So how did you find me? I um, saw the ad for your show and I recognized your face. Something happened to you 20 years ago, right? Yeah. I'm so sorry. Back then, we were all into experimental theater and a whole bunch of drugs. Hard stuff. Was pretty messed up and running out of money. So I answered this ad. This company was looking for actors for the role of a lifetime. They wanted me for some actor installation. I had no idea what I was getting involved in. What was the role? This is where it gets strange. See, I don't remember ever acting. Whole weeks of my life just flew by. My friends thought I was dead. When I came to, I was in this house. I didn't know where. I just woke up feeling disgusted with myself. But I remember you. What did you do to me? I don't know. But I thought about you a lot afterwards. The things that happened to you. What about her? She was something special. I hurt her too. I need to find her. I need to talk to her to know who she is. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to hurt anybody. Do you know where she went? I don't. I really don't remember. Then help me. Tell me something. What was the name of the company? It was Wolf Pharmaceutical. But just tell me one thing. Are you okay? No. I never was. You know, 
I want so much to help you, Cassie. And yet at the same time, I'm afraid that if you do connect with these feelings and these memories, you might not be able to handle them. Can you tell me more about what happened? More about what you remember? Am I making you uncomfortable, Cassie? I see you withdrawing. You're tuning me out. Do you want me to stop? Hi, Mark? You must be Cassie. Have a seat. This place has the most terrific Tibetan food. Thanks for meeting me. I was surprised to get your email. Nobody wants to talk about what happened with Wolf anymore. Looks like you're doing okay. It wasn't all bad. Jared, the CEO, left a lot of money. Enough for a startup. So we're doing good work now. We're saving lives. Jared always said that things were meant to be. But I think we choose our own path. And our actions have echoes. I'm sorry, I'm rambling. You said you want my help with something? I'm looking for a woman. She was part of what happened. I was involved too. Someone took me in and they kept me for weeks. I'm sorry, I didn't know. It was terrible. But she saved me. She shined. I haven't felt anything like that since. Her name is Morning. And she is something special. Do you know what happened to her? I haven't seen her. I wish I had. I think I can still help you. Excuse me, sir. Could I ask you something? What do you want? Is that you in this photo? I'm sorry, I can't help you. Mr. Sinhome, please, if you could just give me a minute of your time. I'm trying to find her. Why? I remember her. She helped me, and I felt connected. And. Ever since then, something's been missing. I wish I could help you, but I haven't seen her in 20 years. Please, anything. There's something about her, isn't there? People are saying that I'm crazy. But I just know that if I find You're her- not crazy. When you see her? Tell her I'm sorry. Christopher Zanone. Hey, Leo. 
How you doing? I'm pretty relaxed, man. Can't complain. But dude, where have you been? You, you find yourself? Found something. You know, you didn't have to go away for 20 years. Maybe. You talked to Holly's mom lately? Yeah. She's still in the same house. I, uh, <laughs> I put in her air conditioner last week. How's she doing? She's doing all right. She got remarried a few years ago. They're happy. <laughs> <laughs> Is Chris Sinone a father? Kind of. Carol and I have been together for a while now, and we adopted Emily three years ago. Awesome, man. I try to do right by him. So is she here? Yeah. She's been waiting for you. I'm sorry. I forgive you. The old age believed in magic. This one believes in science. But we're on the precipice of a third age, a fusion of everything that's come before. What kind of future do you want it to be?